Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. Um, I have an updated wax closet tour. There's probably not too much new in here, but it is very organized. I did mention the other day that my Sensi shelf here was completely overloaded. I was just kind of tossing things in. Nothing was in appropriate bins. It was just all helter-skelter. So I definitely wanted to fix that. And then since I did do that, a couple of people have asked what I do an updated tour. So I will. But again, there's not much new in here. It's just organized. So we will start up top, I guess. Let me get on my little stool here. Um, so up here, over here, we have like uh, some fall and winter candles there. And then candle accessories, holders, tea light things, and some more... Um, I think over here I have like bakery or like in Palo Santo and I have a couple spring summer candles. I don't have a lot of spring summer candles. So <clears throat> not that I'm saying I'm going to get any, but you know, whatever. Okay. So this is my um, basket. When I go to change my wax, I have this just dollar store plastic basket. I fill with cotton balls and this is the, this is the receptacle for the used cotton balls right in there. And then when this is all hardened up to the top, I just pull it out and chuck it in the garbage. And then here's a little basket of my chopping blades, my letters for the um, letterboard warmer from Sensi, and then some melting cups. When I melt things to make tarts, I have these dedicated measuring cups for that. So that goes there. And then there was something else I was going to say about that shelf, but I can't remember what it was. But anyway, okay. Then here we have Scentsy Bricks, and you'll notice that there is the Ginger and Spruce there, and Candy Cane Wishes here, which is um, a very favorite of mine, and I'm hoarding it, obviously, because this is at least two years old, and it's all yellowed. I have to melt this. I have to melt this. I don't want to melt it, but I have to. I don't want to melt it because it's so good not that I don't like it, but I'm just hoarding it. Okay. Oh, there's a um, lighter that doesn't belong there. So this basket here is all bathing garden. And I'm not going to obviously go through all the scents, but that's all the bathing garden there. This is, is it in there? Yeah. This is DD, um, DD Melts, which I love. Uh, splash. That was the one that recommended, uh, that Teresa said was so good. So I did get two splash. I think I melted one already. So here we have these two sides right here are, um, DD. And then I have another row of, um, the bathing garden. And I know the bathing garden Valentine's collection just came out and I did sneak a peek, but I can't do that because I have so much wax now and like really overwhelmed. Um, moving down, this is my melting basket, which I just did the video of yesterday, I think. Let me get rid of my stool. And then, so this, this shelf here is my Sensi shelf, and I did organize it now, so I know what's what. So this is the basket that I say I have some th certain things that I melt primarily at night. I mean, these aren't the only things that melt at night. I melt everything at night. But these ones, I just kind of tend to do at night, like French Kiss, Satin Sheets, Lux Vanilla. Right here, I love, love, love Lux Vanilla, and I have six now, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's in my club, and I'm not taking it out of my club. And actually, I do need to melt some during daylight hours, too, because of my stash of these things is, is getting big. I have one cozy cardigan and three, my new favorite, cashmere and um, corduroy. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So that's that bin. This bin is the bakery bin. Um, vanilla bean buttercream, apple cherry strudel. I did just buy another one. That reminds me, January is the transition month. So the Bring Back My Bars will be going out of stock at the end of the month. And... There's a lot of discontinued things that will be going away at the end of the month. And if you go to my website under under specials, you'll see last chance. And that's where you want to pick up the things that are being discontinued. And everything, mostly everything in the catalog, including the Bring Back My Bars and the discontinued items are 10% off. So this is a perfect time to stock up things that you love. The Bring Back My Bars, some discontinued items as well. 
Okay, anyhow, this is the bakery bin. And so it's all organized now. So I have, if I have multiples, I can see how many multiples I have of something, which is my problem. Before I was buying more of stuff that I already had. So that is a problem and why I try to stay organized as best I can. I do have quite a few vanilla ouds. It's divine, it is so good. This bin here is the summer, spring summer bin. Um, that one's kind of tore up. But we have here strawberry rose. Oh my God, that's so good. Bonfire Beach. I think this is lavender cotton. It is, um, what is this one here? Pink cotton. So that's that bin. And again, I can see when I have multiple, so I don't have to reorder. And then this bin here is like fall, winter. Um, I think that's blue Christmas right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Blue Christmas, uh, Perfect Peppermint is in there. Oh, look, I just got this so neat. I don't want to mess it up. Okay, and then some fall things like um, Pumpkin Chai. What is this one here? This is Huckleberry Wreath. So things like that. And then these are just some extras that I could not fit in the bins. But as I clear out the bins, I'll put those in there as well. Um, but actually, I did place an order today for some of the Bring Back My Bars and Discontinued items. So I will, I might have to get another one of these boxes, which I, I don't want to do, but anyhow. Okay, over here, we have Ella After Wax. And this came in a really pretty marble box. It's still in the marble box. And behind that, back here is, I'm hiding these so I don't melt them. These are the three cookies that... Crystal from Rainbow Melts. They're getting kind of old and they get kind of melted during the move. They should be in better shape than that. But anyway, so when Canada Cam 1978 came to visit me in Texas, we had become friends via, you know, um, YouTube. We kind of we came together that way and we became friends. We started chatting. Whenever I invited her to Houston, she came. So when she came to Houston, we also went to Dallas and San Antonio and um because um kim had come we were kind of hanging out together crystal said that to throw her some scent notes and she would make some commemorative if you will um scents for our little texas road trip so one was texas road tripping cookie heaven lavender and earl gray tea this is really good um Kim and Ramona's Excellent Adventure is coffee, cranberry, and tres leche cake. Oh, I just made tres leche cake last week, isn't it funny? And then this one is Texas Triangle, which is Texas Blue Bonnets, Vanilla, and Leather. And so these, I have others, but I wanted to keep three aside just to make sure I don't melt them to remember our fun Texas uh, road trip and trip. Okay, then in here, this is a couple of case creations back there. I have some, um, oh, I need to melt this. I keep forgetting about this. Zape Date with an Englishman. I love this so much. It is, I can't see through the viewfinder. Um, rose petals, vanilla bean, and ripe tobacco, um, pipe tobacco. Oh, so good. If you like tobacco scents, I definitely recommend you try Date with an Englishman. And I really want to get this back in here because... And then what is here? I think it's, oh, these um, candle warmers that Teresa sent me in Blackberry Cobbler. And my last one and only, I keep saying it's my last, but I keep finding more, but this is my very last um, Goose Creek Black Amber Plum. So, so good. So good. I haven't checked the website in a while, but the last couple times I did check, it was not there. I have one candle that I could make into melts at some point, and I wish I probably will, but I don't need to right now. And then here's some destination wax here. Here is some um, Swamp Creek. These are the homework melts that I've had forever. I really kind of get a need to get a bunch on those. And here's VCS, 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 VCS there. VCS. Over here, we have um, some Walmart wax, Better Homes and Gardens, Farm Apple Pumpkin. Susan got me hooked on that. Another one. Um, this is Soft Cashmere and Amber. And <clears throat> Orange Cinnamon Rolls. That one's really good. And then some of the Aromatherapy Collection and just some little 
odds and ends and bits and pieces. This is rainbow melts here. Um, and this is rainbow melts here, like little smaller pieces and probably some um, samples as well. And then this here is all my um, poinsettias from BCS. I just love these so much. Don't ask me why. It's just something I think about poinsettias. I just happen to love them and I can't explain why. And then finally at the bottom, I'm going to have a little seat here on my little stool. I have uh, uh, I learned to spin bike the other day because I'm really turning into a really big fat lard A S S. So I'm excited to get my spin bike. But anyway, um yeah, see these are some more candles, winter candles right here. These are just some bags and some molds that I use when I make tarts. This is my coffee basket, so I'm good for coffee for a while. And then this is my empties basket right here that I get my empties in. And then these three bins here are just like top candles or tarts that I've made, like um, sweet blackberry bourbon from Better Homes and Gardens. This is really good. I really enjoy this one. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but oh, and this one here. Uh, tobacco wreath from Root Candles. That's the vanilla tobacco one that Kim got me hooked on. And then what is this? Um, oh, this is good. Uh, VCS, uh, the Fillmore, which is sugared elderflower and champagne lemon from 2018. Almost four years old. And the last time I melted this, it was still going strong. I really need to start pulling out some of this older stuff. And... A bunch of Chicago Outfit also got me hooked on by um, Kim. This is uh, Blackberry Mango Ginger Ale, if I'm not mistaken, from 2017. Oh, my God, this is five years old. Shoot. Okay, I really need to get going with these, those old bags. I need to make that a priority. Um, and then other stuff in there, chopped candles, whatnot. Same candles, tarts. This is um, Yankee Candle, Sun Drenched Epcot Rose. That one's really, really good. And then I have a whole bunch of these ones. Um, Goose Creek. These were, jar these, these, they were really big jar candles. They were on sale, I think, for $11 or $12. And there's like five of these big bags in there. So clearly, buying a candle, especially if you get them on sale, is very cost effective when it comes to melting wax. And these are quite large. Um, they're mini muffin pan tarts. And depending, you know, they, you could easily split those in two. So that is like for $12, I have like a ton of wax there, like a ton. And then what I don't have, I decided when I was rearranging and organizing is under those bins, I used to have a plastic, you know, storage bin. You've seen it before. I've showed it my winter bin. But I found that when I pulled my winter bin out, I hadn't melted anything in it. Like I so I just assimilated all of that into my my closet. It's not a separate bin for winter anymore. Well, because I have a winter bin right here. So, you know, I guess I was thinking more of Christmas sense and like more specifically Christmas. But anyway, I pulled it all out and it's all together now. So clearly I'm good to go for wax. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely on a low buy again. I mean, a really low buy. I mean, I, all my, all of my pockets are full now. And about a year ago, I had probably almost one of these was empty and a few pockets and another one was almost empty. So I, not to mention that this, the Ella, that's, I mean, that's an extra bin right there that I didn't have. So, ah, uh, um, and all, you know, up top there, the, the Dee Dee's and all the, um, the bathing garden. I didn't have that. So my collection has grown again and it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. So I'm definitely going to spend the next, you know, six months or longer, you know, trying to get this down again to a manageable level for me, What you know, whatever I determine that to be. I don't know. But anyhow, so that is my current storage situation. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this satisfied your itch because I also love watching um, wax storage videos too. So anyway, that's it. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye.